Welcome, top news today. Please subscribe and support this channel. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have arrived home to Kensington Palace following the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in Windsor on Saturday. Both were spotted wearing sunglasses inside the Land Rover Discovery that William was driving with his wife Kate in the passenger seat. The vehicle had tinted windows and onlookers were unable to see if there were any rear seat passengers. It is unknown where Prince William and Kate stayed last night, but before the wedding the couple stayed at Windsor Castle with Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Prince William acted as best man for his brother and is said to have delivered a naughty speech during the evening reception at Frogmore House yesterday. The Duke of Cambridge arrived with Prince Harry as the wedding began and was sat next to him before Ms. Markle arrived. He and the new Duchess of Sussex appeared to be stifling laughter during the ceremony after Most Reverend Michael Curry delivered a passionate speech. Bishop Michael Curry mentioned slavery, the Old Testament and quoted the drive. Martin Luther King Jr. in the unusual speech in St. George's Chapel, and spoke about how fire made it possible to text and tweet. The Duchess of Cambridge was tasked with escorting the four-page boys and six bridesmaids, including their children Prince George and Princess Charlotte. While the confident Princess Charlotte captured the hearts of the nation by waving enthusiastically at crowds gathered outside, her four-year-old brother cowered behind his father's legs on the steps in front of the church. The Duchess of Cambridge reached for a familiar favorite when getting dressed for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. Mother of three Kate, 36, wore a primrose yellow silk tailored coat by Alexander McQueen, the label behind her own wedding gown, that she's previously worn on no less than three high-profile occasions. She was first seen in the designer piece for the christening of Princess Charlotte back in July 2015 and then wore it again a year later for the trooping of the color in June 2016. She was seen most recently wearing it at the Pastandel commemoration service during a visit to Belgium back in July last year. Please subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.